Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy aka Uzar Jarambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. I'm on the global side of the game today to talk to you guys about the renewed missions that were just dropped for the Fighting Legend Goku event where you can pick up the Goku Summon Banner tickets again as well as a decent amount of Dragon Stones upon completion of all of these missions. Um, we'll talk about those missions here in a minute. I'm also going to talk about a specific type of unit that is going to be really useful bringing in on the event um, because it'll just it'll make it a lot easier to clear the event and to build some some viable teams to clear all of these missions. So we'll talk about those here in a second. But uh, real quick, uh, I just wanted to say I know that over the last week for the global and the JP side, there has been a lot of content with the five-year anniversary, um, some new LR summon banners and stuff like that, and I haven't been able to cover any of that content. So I apologize to all my subscribers and everybody else who checks out the videos because I've just had an extremely busy last week at work and uh, with the family. But we do have some more stuff coming up here within the next week. We've got the Easy A for the Fizz Super Saiyan God Vegito. So I'm super excited for that. I will be dropping content on that. And I may be dropping some summon uh, videos for some of these LR banners as well. So stay tuned. Thanks for sticking with me. I will be getting some more content out. So stay tuned for all that. But... Anyway, as many of you know, I do have the beginning stages of a Discord chat set up right now. I've got a link to that down in the description below. Um, and if you go ahead and join that Discord chat and subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will be eligible for my thank you giveaway, where when I hit 100 subscribers, one lucky winner will be getting a physical copy of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot for the PS4, as well as a limited edition steelbook and limited edition game art book for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. If you go over to that Discord chat, that is, I do have a channel for the giveaway specifically, and that's where I will be announcing the winner. I'll be taking all of your guys' Discord chat usernames, put them in a hat, do a random draw, and one lucky winner will be walking away with those items so again to be eligible for that join that discord chat subscribe to my youtube channel and then once we hit those 100 subscribers stay tuned for that i will be doing more giveaways in the future as a way to say thank you guys for supporting my content so anyway let's go ahead and hop over to the dokkan battle wiki real quick where we can see the the fighting legend goku page uh, if you haven't beat the fighting legend goku or you weren't aware yet of course there are eight stages for the event where he gets increasingly more difficult, and this is a really difficult event, actually, um, where he can be, he can't be stunned, he can't be sealed, and then later on he can't have his attack lowered. He'll start uh, evading your attacks, and then he actually goes as far as to do all of that. Plus, he will disable your ability to evade when he becomes Master to Ultra Instinct. So, really uh, quite a difficult event, but hopefully with the discussion we have today, it'll make it a little easier for you guys to clear it. <clears throat> so if you haven't beat the event at least seven times up to this point, you do have more Dragon Stones up for grabs and more tickets up for grabs, but uh, with the renewed missions, there are 60 Dragon Stones and 60 tickets that you'll be able to pick up. So uh, the first 10 tickets and Dragon Stones come from beating the event once all the way through to Phase 8. Um, so you can pick up 10 of each there. And then they've got a little bit more incentive to go through and clear this event multiple times because uh, 5 Dragon Stones and 5 tickets will come for each time you clear the event with a specific category team. So the categories are Fusion, Patora, Hybrid Saiyans, Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Movie Heroes, and Movie Bosses. So again, each of those category team clears will give you five Dragon Stones and five tickets. So um, you're going to have to get really creative and have a lot of good hidden potential investment on your units for each of these categories because you don't want any of these units that you're going in to be too much of a liability because if they take too much damage or you know they don't deal enough damage you may get super far in the event towards one of the last phases and then end up getting KO'd so we don't want that uh, so if you go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the infinite dis defense stacking um, a lot of you guys know about this already um, if you want to go ahead drop down to my dis uh, description below I do have a link to get to this page on the Dokkan wiki uh, thank you to the Dokkan wiki for this information provided but um, Basically, the infinite defense stacking is going to give you a really good chance to beat this event because if you have at least one or multiple of these infinite defense stacking units, you'll be able to tank some damage really well on this event and you should be able to clear it with no real problems. So, um, 
One of my favorite units is actually the LR Gohan here. Uh, heal infinite defense stack and basically um, towards the later phases of the event when the tech Goku usually does hundreds of thousands of damage against one of the units that you know are AGL this if you launch the super attack plenty of times and get his defense stacked up that Gohan actually only takes double digit damage so which is absolutely unheard of but it really helps um, these units will really help to soak up that damage so anyway uh, infinite defense stacking is basically whenever your unit launches a super attack um, they will raise their defense by a certain amount and it will stay for 99 turns so basically considered infinite amount of turns because you shouldn't be in any of the events for 99 turns and each time you launch that super attack off it just keeps stacking that defense to the point where like I said with that Gohan he takes little to you no know, double digit damages damage even when you have a tech type unit attacking him so the best unit for infinite defense stacking right now is the uh, int transforma transformation Goku Black because he actually raises at his attack by 50% every time and then you can see here all of these units raise their defense by 30% and then these guys do 20% so there's a good pool of units to pick from here um, not all of them are available on the global side yet but there's a good chunk of units that you can you can use here so and there's some other units they talk about that have uh, multiple stacks but it's not infinite defense stacking not to worry about them but again if you want to go ahead drop down to the description below you can take a deeper look at this page um, so yeah you can go ahead and look at all these units and get your team builds going so uh, let's go ahead and hop over to Dokkan battle real quick um, so you can see here fighting legend Goku uh, you can see all of the missions are available right now, so you can go ahead and start clearing those, collecting those Dragon Stones and tickets. Um, I think that ticket banner actually has a chance to get LR3 coup on it as well, so that's pretty cool. But uh, one of the teams that I'm going to be bringing in for probably my first clear is the Kamehameha team, because this team has a lot of good units that are infinite defense stacking. Uh, the Fizz uh, LR Vegeta, there, or sorry, Gogeta there does not have infinite defense stacking, but they do have the transformation for a full heal. And then uh, the tech Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito here, he also has infinite attack stacking, so he'll be able to tank some damage as well as deal a good chunk of damage as well. And then all of the other units besides the Gogeta and the uh, Vegito that I talked about, they also have infinite defense stacking as well. The AGL Super Saiyan Goku that transforms, uh, the only thing with him is you want to make sure you get all of his super attacks off because once he becomes Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, he doesn't stack anymore. But he does uh, still tank a good chunk if you can get him to super attack all the time, if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, I know I rambled on a little bit, but uh, hopefully uh, with all that information I provided in today's video, you guys found some useful information. If you are having trouble clearing this event, hopefully... Uh, talking about that infinite defense stacking and providing that page will give you guys a little bit of a head up so you can uh, beat this event and get a lot of these tickets. And of course, like I said, if you haven't beat the event up to seven times uh, since the Fighting Legend Goku event came out, you have even more than 60 Dragonstones and tickets up for grabs. So best of luck to you guys. Um, really and honestly, this is a pretty difficult event. Um, so... Hopefully all of this information helped you out. And uh, again, make sure uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to my channel and go join that Discord chat. Stay tuned for that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot giveaway. If there's anything I missed, go ahead and comment down below. Tell me, uh, are you going to be taking on this event? Are you having trouble still? If you have any questions, go ahead and post those down in the comments below. Go ahead and drop a like today um, on the video if I provide you with some of that useful information. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out my video. I'll catch you on the next one. Signing out.